Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. I usually don't like making videos like this. That is basically, I don't like making videos where I communicate directly to the vegan community. I usually like to talk to, or want to talk to, I must say, to non-vegans and explain veganism to them. But as our vegan community tends to grow bigger and bigger, we will start facing some issues, some uh, points of disagreement and opinions. And at that time, certain things have to be addressed. Now, what I want to address in this video is promoting veganism through celebrities. Basically, uh, as you know, there are plenty of articles all over the internet. You can find them even from the Western vegan movement abroad, be it the US, Australia, UK, wherever. You find them trying to promote veganism using the name of a celebrity, saying that this celebrity has gone vegan, now you go vegan too. Now, is this a bad strategy? Is it an immoral? Of, of course, it's not an immoral or a wrong strategy. But it is a dangerous strategy that could easily backfire and um, lead to a lot of confusion and chaos. There's already plenty of confusion and chaos regarding veganism, especially in our country. Especially in our country where people constantly think you're trying to like take them away from the religion or you, they feel like you're trying to info, enforce some political ideology on them. Putting another confusing thing into the mix is just not right. So what I mean is there are some vegan celebrities abroad like Joaquin how do you pronounce them? Joa Queen Phoenix, um, I think Miley Cyrus, uh, Billy Eilish, the British singer. I don't know too many names from abroad, but yeah, they, they exist and these people are ethical vegans. So promoting veganism through them, I think it kind of makes sense. But what happens if we, as a community, find this one, and now I had to go to these organizations like PETA and FIAPO. So what happens is this. They will contact some celebrity and say like, hey, do you want to come to a PETA ad where you hold the placard or something? You know, where you say stuff like, oh, I don't, I will rather go naked than wear leather or something like that. And then people start interviewing them and they say, yeah, yeah, I'm also thinking about veganism. I don't eat non-veg, but sometimes I eat eggs, sometimes I drink milk. I also go vegan, I'll try going vegan. And immediately big headlines come out. Oh my God, this celebrity said they're going to go vegan for the animals. But the celebrity probably never said that. Now we are trying to push veganism using these celebrities but these celebrities have never committed to veganism if anything they do this just for the attention now we vegans are so desperate to push this message of veganism out and to make it reach the larger public right and these celebrities have like millions and millions of fans and sincere followers these celebrities come to the vegan movement not to spread veganism they come so that they can get a new set of fans if they, they hope that the vegans now also become their sincere fans we vegans Accept them with open arms thinking that okay these people are going to come here right now and be saviors for animals and they're going to start promoting veganism. The truth is they come, they promote veganism in whatever way these big NGOs ask them to. Obviously it's a contracted deal, they're paid money. If I'm not wrong, I think they are. And then they leave and after a year or maybe a few months itself, they'll start eating non veg and stuff. See, so they'll be posting for a week or something on Instagram saying like hashtag try vegan, hashtag I ate a vegan meal for breakfast big deal but then in a week or two they'll be going back to eating fish eating eggs eating dairy or eating maybe even meat and the their audience will be confused like okay she said vegan so veganism is basically something you do for losing weight veganism is a new fad it's a new trend no veganism is a social justice movement a movement that is done seriously to to call for the rights of animals to give animals also the right to live free and give them personhood that's what the vegan movement is for Similarly, sexualizing women on posters to promote veganism is nonsense. No guy looks at a naked woman and thinks, oh my god, even if right next to her naked body it pretend, please go vegans, animals suffer, no one's be like, oh my god, animals suffer, but wow, look at her naked body, I really want to go vegan. Which guy thinks like that? Um, I'm not trying to talk about women's clothing. If you want to wear a short skirt, hey, that's up to you. If you want to wear, I don't know, a, a shirt that's quite small and it reveals your, uh, what do you call your belly button and stuff, hey, that's up to you. I'm not trying to comment on women's clothing. I'm talking about sexualizing. I'm talking about a woman being topless and her hair flowing and just covering her nipples. For animal rights? Seriously? How does that picture, how does someone's boobs help people understand the pain and suffering that animals go through. How does that make them realize that, oh my God, 
I'm doing this injustice and I have these other alternatives to eat and I can get my nutrition elsewhere so I must become vegan. No, what this does is just like how we use celebrities, nudity captures the attention. Of course, such pictures, of course, when you make a post with a celebrity's face, you're going to get a lot of clicks, a lot of views, a lot of likes and reactions. But the message is not sent to the public. I would rather send out the message properly to 10 people than give an incorrect or a half-assed message to a million people because what's the difference? In the end, you're actually creating more confusion instead of giving a clear message to the public. And if you are a celebrity, probably if you're a celebrity, you wouldn't be watching my videos. But if you are a vegan in the vegan community in India, an activist, you call yourself, Please do not, when you see these posts, I would request you to please let us contact the celebrity and tell them, please stop this. Let us put a comment below saying that, please, I am a vegan too. I can see you want to promote veganism. Please do not sexualize your body to promote veganism. It is not helping the vegan movement. If anything, it makes us seem like hypocrites because we're objectifying women. And then we're talking and saying that we should not objectify animals. In fact, it makes us seem like hypocrites if women are sexualized. And what else can I say? Using celebrities, let us please stop that. They are not to be trusted. Veganism is not an idea we're trying to sell to people. It is a social justice movement. Who puts a social, if you put a serious issue, like children's rights, on the shoulders of a celebrity, when that celebrity is not even sure if it's ethical or not to beat up little children. A celebrity is like, yeah, about beating children, sometimes I beat, not beating them is good for my health. Plus, I don't beat them only on Monday. Hashtag don't beat children on Monday. Please promote me. Would you promote such a person? Absolutely not. Then why are we, ethical vegans, vegans who care for animals, promoting these people for animal rights? It's just nonsense. If you're a vegan watching this, please, I request you. Such things will only lead to more confusion and problems in our vegan community and in promoting the vegan message in the long run. Let us please not use celebrities to promote our message of animal rights. Let us please stop sexualizing women, okay, for promoting animal rights. It does not work. It's counterproductive. Both these things are counterproductive and they go, they take us backwards and not forwards. Please think about this. And please, I would say, let's do the right thing by putting out content or going out there and lecturing and talking and educating people with facts and logic as to why they should be vegan. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.